Alright, so you saw what the title says. I busted my knee. My left one. Um, uh, now, uh, you may be wondering how, how is it busted, or how did it, how did I bust it? What do you mean by busted? Um, well, first I want to say that I'm, I most likely sprained my knee or dislocated a little bit. I'm not so sure what happened with it. Um, what happened was I was me, yes, this happened yesterday. Me and my family, we went down to an old place to visit some old friends because they're having a picnic. So uh, there's a, then there's a, a tug of war game going on, and I decided to participate, just have some fun, you know. And I also want to test my strength because I haven't worked out in a while. Now, let me tell you this when you play tug of war, you got to make sure you got to, you, you gotta make sure you wear sh tennis shoes or shoes with grip, cause uh, I'm a sandals guy. So I was wearing my sandals, and as soon as uh, we started pulling, this joint like my knee joint like felt like it popped it or like it shifted, and uh, it disabled it disabled uh, like my bum half of my leg. So. Uh, yeah, I felt that. I felt that shift. I was like, "Oh God, what just happened?" And I, I, I literally could not move. I literally couldn't move uh, my lower left leg, so I was hopping on one foot. And uh, of course, I couldn't really pull my arms because I didn't have. I, uh, I erased half of my leg strength, so my team, me and my team, lost. Um. But yeah. Um. So that's that's how I busted my knee. Now, what happened after that? I did feel some pain, but at the time, my I saw like a shit ton of adrenaline going, so I couldn't really feel it. I couldn't really determine how bad the pain was or where it, where the main source was at. And uh, after about a few hours, when we headed back home, it, it did swell up just a tiny bit, and of course the adrenaline swelled, so I really felt the pain. It wasn't too bad. If I were to rate the pain from a scale of 1 to 10, I'd say like maybe 5 or 6, somewhere in the middle. But that's only when I like move my leg a certain way. Like uh, I can't really straighten or bend my leg like all the way back to my uh, back thigh, or the back of my thigh, because it'll hurt. Um, so the pain is, so the swelling, it's still kind of there. It's compared to my right knee, so you can kind of see that my left knee is a bit bigger because of the swelling. And uh, I did talk with the nurse on the phone last night, and she said that I most likely have like a a minor sprain, and that also explains like the swelling, the tenderness. So yeah, I put some ice on it. I. Uh, Yes, I did some light exercises. I did some light walking um, around the house. And uh, when I'm walking my dogs, I don't... I still walk my dogs, but I don't go as far as I used to. I just walk like a... Maybe about like... Maybe like a... A fifth of a mile, maybe. I, I don't know. Then head back. So... So, yeah, as you can see here... Let me compare this with my, uh, right here. you can kind of, you can see that there's like a little bit of deformation right here. I don't know, this camera sucks, but you can see like right here, there's a little bit of deformation. So that begs the question whether if my knee, if I dislocate, if I slightly dislocated my knee, like the joints, not the kneecap, like the joints, or it really is a sprain. I am not so sure yet. I am, I'm good. I have to wait to go to the doctor tomorrow. I can't do it today because dad is busy. He has like a meeting that's far away from me. He isn't going to get back to it tonight. So most likely we'll go to urgent care tomorrow just to check on my how bad my knee is or what happened to it. Or is what's currently happening to it. Um, but yeah. And when I try to, when I try to walk, I can't really walk properly. I have to like limp. Just move this out of the way. Um, I kind of like 
I gotta like walk on my tippy toes because I can't straighten my left leg. My joint won't allow it. So, yeah. Um, that's about it. Right now, it feels fine. It's just that I can like really, I can like kind of feel my bones like touching each other, I guess. Or like there's like a, it feels like there's a, like there's a ball that's like separating my the my joints. Because when I like try to straighten my leg or like move it all the way back, like it feels like there's a ball that's, that's separating my joints. So it could be like a minor dislocation. Cause, I mean, it kind of feels like it. And I did do some research of what a sprained knee is and what a dislocated knee is. But yeah, I'm doing fine right now. It would take time to heal. I just give it like maybe a, a week or two, probably like two weeks, I guess. But it depends how bad it is and uh, what's really going on. And uh, I will provide updates, see how my knee is doing. Uh, yeah, and uh, don't worry. I'm still I'm still going to upload to YouTube whenever I get a video idea. I mean, it's just me s just sitting over here in front of my uh, shitty laptop. See, I have Solto and G playing right now. Um, yeah. Um, so, yeah, one thing, one lesson that I learned here is do not play tug of war with sandals. As a matter of fact, don't do sports with sandals at all. Just don't. Even if you love sandals, you're a sandal guy like me, just don't do anything rash with sandals. It's it's not good. Otherwise, you can bust up your knee or something else. Alright, see ya.